1963. This was the year Japan's first nuclear power plant started operating. Since then, nuclear power plants have been established around the country, continuing to generate vast amounts of electricity. These nuclear power plants used mined uranium and other nuclear fuels to generate electricity. Once used, the fuel remains as spent fuel. 95% of this spent fuel is recyclable. This is called the nuclear fuel cycle. The remaining 5% is waste liquid that can't be reused. Because this waste cannot be recycled, it must be disposed of. However, this waste is highly radioactive. It is also unstable as a liquid, which means it can't be disposed of in that state. To solve this problem, the waste liquid is mixed with glass material that has been melted in a glass melter. The mixture is then cooled and solidified in stainless steel containers, known as canisters. This is a model of the solidified waste liquid and glass material mixture inside an actual container. Waste liquid that has been vitrified is called high-level radioactive waste. え、ガラスの特徴として、え、非常に水に溶けにくいということ。あと、化学的に安定しているという、そういう性質があります。え、ですので、え、放射性物質を長期にわたって安定して閉じ込めるのに進んでいます。Vitrified waste has very high radioactivity and temperature immediately after it is produced. With a surface temperature exceeding 200 degrees Celsius, the canisters must be cooled in specialized facilities for between 30 to 50 years. Currently, there are already over 2,000 canisters of vitrified waste in cooled storage in Japan. In addition, spent fuel that is yet to be recycled is also being held in storage pools in nuclear power plants around the country. If this quantity were converted into vitrified waste, the total would be equal to around 25,000 canisters. え、ガラス庫型は現状青森県六ヶ所村にあります高レベル放射性廃棄物貯蔵管理センターで管理されています。しかしながらこのままずっと六ヶ所村で管理するわけにはいきませんので、最終的には処分しなければなりません。to date, international organizations and various countries that use nuclear power have discussed and researched various methods for disposing of high-level radioactive waste. The radioactivity of cooled high-level radioactive waste decays over time. However, it can take tens of thousands of years to reach a level that does not impact living environments. Taking this into account, geological disposal has been selected as a method that can ensure long-term safety. Geological disposal is a method that involves disposing of high-level radioactive waste in bedrock more than 300 meters underground. The Earth's deep strata possess properties that enable substances to be contained for long periods. As demonstrated by the ancient relics that are discovered underground, the bedrock in these deep layers is a natural barrier that excels in containment. Another feature is that, compared to layers near the surface, deep strata are less affected by events such as earthquakes, tsunamis, wars, or terrorism. Nuclear 
我々人間の生活環境から廃棄物を隔離することが可能な方法ですので最終的に人間の管理が必要としない安全な処分の方法なんです。Artificial measures are also employed to help ensure the safety of geological disposal. This is the multi barrier system. Vitrified waste canisters serve as the first barrier. The liquid is mixed with glass and solidified, trapping radioactive material inside. As a secondary barrier, the vitrified high level radioactive waste is encased in a metal container with wall thickness of around 20 centimeters. This prevents high level radioactive waste from coming into contact with groundwater. An additional third barrier involves reinforcement with clay based buffer material around 70 centimeters thick. Forming a cell that stops any internal leaks of radioactive material from getting out. With these engineered barriers in place, the material is disposed of in bedrock at least 300 meters underground, which forms a final natural barrier. High level radioactive waste disposed of in this way remains isolated from human living environments for prolonged periods of time. Japan is currently discussing and exploring potential sites for geological disposal. The final disposal of high level radioactive waste is an issue for us to resolve without burdening future generations.